beautiful dreamers. Uh, I'm sorry I look like this. It's really late, but um, I just wanted to say that yesterday, um, our dog, our family dog, who was 17, almost 17 years old, he would have been 17 in August, he passed away unexpectedly. Uh, what happened is, uh, I guess around 8 or 9 a.m., someone let him out in the backyard. Now we have a fence in our backyard and it is closed and gated at all times, but somehow he managed to get out of the yard and um, we didn't know because we were all asleep and I don't know who let him out. Uh, it's probably best we don't know who let him out because no, no one's come clean about who did it. Um, I know I didn't do it. <laughs> and um, So yeah, he escaped the yard and um, my nephew came I got my husband and immediately I know something's wrong because you know you just get that feeling and um, my husband he was gone for a few minutes and he came back and he said that the dog was dead that he had sorry they found him in a swimming pool myself. Now, he, like I said, he was an old dog and um, he had this thirst that he was unsatisfied. He just needed water and he wasn't satisfied when he had water. So what I'm guessing happened is that when whoever let him out, I don't know how he escaped the yard, but he did. We have a, a fenced in yard, a very high fence. Uh, we have a gate. It's always locked. Uh, he got out. We don't know how he got out. It's a mystery how he got out, but he, um, we found him dead in the neighbor's swimming pool. I guess he went t for a drink and he must have fell in and being his old age, he was having trouble walking with his hind legs. He probably couldn't support himself to swim and he ended up drowning. Um, my nephew came to tell my husband and I didn't know what was going on because I had just woken up, um, but I had this instinct, you know, that something bad had happened to this dog. You know, you just get this feeling sometimes, and oh, switch hands, my hands hurting. Um, yeah, I just had this feeling that something bad was going to happen. And the, d the day before he died, my sister had this feeling that something was going to happen to him. And we have another dog that's younger, and she just, was just staring at him with a sad expression on her face. And uh, I had just taken him a bath also the night before. And, um, you know, which is rare, I don't really take him a bath. Uh, he's not really my responsibility. And, you know, where I'm, I'm not that close to him. He's mostly close to my dad. Now, my dad moved away a month ago. And he was coming back on the exact day uh, for a week to, do a, to have a doctor's appointment. And then he was going to take the dog back with him to move. And, you know, he's. This dog's his best friend. We've had him for almost 17 years. He's loyal. Uh, when my mom passed away last year, uh, this dog never left her side until she passed. That's how loyal of a dog he was. Uh, he was a Pomeranian, the standard kind, not the kind you see in shows. He was a little bit bigger than you know, the little tiny, tiny ones. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> the day my dad was supposed to come back is the day he ended up dying. And I had to be the bearer of the bad news. Uh, I had to call my dad and tell him what happened. He was on his way here to Houston from uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and I cried so much. Um, I, I'm not really a dog person, but what really got me was the way he died, alone, struggling for his life. You know, no animal or anything should have to live like, to die like that you know, drowning, it's not a way to go. Um, I, I can't imagine anything like that happening to, you know, I'm a cat person mostly, and um, if that happened to my cats, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, luckily my cats are not allowed outside at all, unless I'm there with them. And if anyone ever lets them out, I'm gonna break their neck, because I'm very protective over my cats. And it's just so sad the way he had to go, and you know, that really got to me, that he was alone and not, you know, with his loved ones comforting him. 
because I've had um, rats in the past and hamsters and when they it was their time I've always been there and they've always died in my arms or in my hands with comfort and love knowing that it was okay to move on with their um, you know, it was okay to, to sleep for the last time. So yeah, so that really got to me. <laughs> and um, my husband and my dad ended up burying him next to our little duck in the backyard. Now, we found a little duck the other day. It was abandoned. I guess it was a, a last minute hatch because my husband said there was, there was no other ducks around. It was tiny, tiny, like this big. It was so tiny and it only survived half a day. And so we buried it in the yard, and you know it's appropriate to bury uh, the dog right next to the duck. All right, so yeah, it looked terrible because it's almost four in the morning, and yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take a break from YouTube for about a week or two. You know, you know, just go through the morning process. You know, take time, you know, to recover because you know pets are family. They're not something you can just get over, especially when you had one for so long. Alright, so that is it, and I will see you in a week or two. I'm going to include some footage uh, and some photos. I don't have many photos of him digitally, or uh, footage digitally, because uh, back then, we have a lot of photos of him, but you know, with a regular old-fashioned camera, the one where you had to develop the film, and that's all in storage. And we have a lot of footage of him, again, but it's on camcorder, uh, little mini VHS tapes, and I don't have anything to, you know, convert it to digital. So I scrounged up what I could, and all right, that is it, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, Eric. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, guys, get in your mouth! What? <laughs> what does it mean this time? <laughs> hey! You're gonna Wait, get it. Wait, I'm gonna get it. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's why you didn't keep it. It's not snowing it. I'm not so mean to me. <clears throat> Chauncey's at the vet. That's gonna be new. And the new look. The new look today. He has shaved. All the way to his tail. Because he has hot spots. He looks like um, a deep feathered chicken. That's more than just fleas, I think. He's never had it that bad. He's tired. Oh my god. No, you didn't get it real good. You need to stand up so you can. He did. Chelsea, come stand up. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Chelsea. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you can. Oh my gosh. <laughs>